We are only days away from Apple's September event where we're going to learn all about the new Apple Watches and iPhones. So I figured let's take a look at the Apple Watch Ultra as someone who has owned it for over two years now, mainly because of the fact that the Apple Watch Series 10 is going to grow in size and possibly take over one of the big advantages of the Apple Watch Ultra. Let's start off with the design of the Apple Watch Ultra. The Apple Watch Ultra comes in at 49 millimeters in a natural titanium color, and that's it. You don't really get a choice. You get 49 millimeters natural titanium. That's it. You do get the choice of band as there is the ocean band as there's the ocean band alpine loop and trail loop you can choose from and all of these bands are very comfortable but they are all designed for specific things so depending on what you plan on doing with your apple watch ultra you may want to make sure you have the right band for it now the larger screen of the apple watch ultra coming in at 49 millimeters has been absolutely amazing mainly because it's allowed for larger watch faces like the modular ultra watch face which i use all the time and the wayfinder watch face as well so these two watch faces for me personally have been my go-to watch faces since the apple watch ultra has come out now just because it allows you to pack so much into the watch and just by looking at your watch you can get all the information you would want from it it does have also a flat display which has been one of my very favorite features to the apple watch ultra as someone who has has broken other Apple Watches over the years. Having a flat display has just allowed for any accidental bumps to be taken up by the, I guess, raised lip of the screen as the screen sits flush now with the Apple Watch Ultra instead of being curved. So I don't have to worry about any potential damage to it by hitting it or banging it on something, which is very nice to have. Now, the battery life for the Apple Watch Ultra comes in at 36 hours as because it is a larger Apple Watch, it has a larger battery. So. 36 hours of battery life has been absolutely amazing, mainly because I can now go basically two days without having to charge my Apple Watch. So every other day I have to place my Apple Watch on the charger, whether it's a Belkin charger or my MagSafe Duo. It, it'll last and it also supports fast charging from the Apple Watch Series 7 if you are using a supported charger, which is very nice to have if you just need to quickly juice up your Apple Watch. Although it does charge decently fast in my experience. Now, the Apple Watch Ultra was also the first Apple Watch to introduce a new button, that being the action button. So I have mindset to just quickly launch a workout and also just start a workout by pressing it as this just allows me to free up the complication room on my Apple Watch face and allow me to have more of the information I truly want on the face not being taken up by something that I do so often that I have to dig for it in software as I can just click and start a workout and be on my way and not have to wait for the three second timer or anything like that, which is something I didn't think initially I would care for as much, although it's been very nice to have. Now, another thing with the Apple Watch Ultra, and I'm sure this is gonna come to all the new Apple Watches, it has been the double tap. I use it, but not enough, which is why I think Apple is opening this up with watchOS 11 to kind of just work everywhere without developers having to do anything because they want more people to use the feature. I use it to respond to a message and then dictate or dismiss a notification or scroll through a notification when my hands are full, mainly because of the fact that if I'm doing something and I quickly want to glance down and see what it's saying, I can just double tap, read it, do it, end the timer, pause the timer, scroll through my smart stack. I can do that without having to essentially interact with it when sometimes cooking and you only have your left hand or your hands are gross and dirty and you don't want to touch it, you can now just double tap, answer phone call, end the timer, do all these things that I didn't think would be so game changing when the double tap first launched, but has been a very nice quality of life improvement. But overall, seeing what the Apple Watch Ultra has offered over the previous Apple Watches since the series 7, 8, 9, there's really been a main reason to go for it and make the jump up to the upgrade and make the jump up to the Ultra and pay more for it. Although this year it seems with the complete redesign coming to the series 10 with the 49 millimeter size that Maybe the Apple Watch Ultra has got a competitor and maybe you don't need to go ultra. Now, make sure you're subscribed for my full hands-on after the Apple event and also leave me a comment on what you think the Apple Watch Series 10 lineup really needs to make it a game-changing upgrade, even besides just the size improvements. And I want you to remember, today's a good day to make a great day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.